The oldest complete mammal fossil from the southern hemisphere is puzzling scientists with its mismatched body, strange skull holes and teeth that look like they are from outer space. The new fossil reported in the journal Nature is the oldest and only nearly complete skeleton from an extinct group of mammals known as Gondwanatherians. This mysterious bunch lived alongside the dinosaurs on the southern supercontinent of Gondwana. They are known from a smattering of teeth and bone fragments, a single skull and the new remarkable skeleton of an animal, whose discoverers have dubbed the crazy beast. The fossil is from northwestern Madagascar and dates back 66 million years to the end of the Cretaceous period. Madagascar was already an island at the time, having drifted away from Africa by 88 million years ago, and the animals that lived there were completely bizarre, said David Cruz, the senior curator of vertebrate paleontology at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, who led the new research. Among the animals found on Madagascar at this time were the predatory buck-toothed dinosaur Meshokasaurus nopfleri, a frog wider than number two pencil is long that may have eaten baby dinosaurs and was named Bilzebufampinga, or devil frog, and a crocodile with a short snout and bumpy teeth that probably ate plants. We actually think we had an herbivorous crocodile, and it doesn't get much weighter than that, Crows said. Well, except maybe for the new mammal, Adelotherium wee. A field expedition led by Cruz and his colleagues dug this stunning skeleton out of the ground in 1999 completely by accident. They were trying to collect a nearby crocodile skeleton, said Raymond Rogers, professor and chair of geology at McAllister College in Minnesota, who participated in the research. It took months to remove the possum-sized skeleton from the rock, but the results are unprecedented. Most of the skeleton is preserved except for part of the back of the skull and some pieces of the hips. Never before has so much of a Gondwanatherium been found. The previous best preserved specimen was a skull of a large eyed herbivore, reported in the journal Nature in 2014 by Cruz and his team. The researchers attribute the pristine preservation of the new found Adelotherium wee to a mud flow that suddenly buried the creature. Such mud flows seem to have occurred seasonally in Madagascar at the time. Adelotherium wee probably looked a bit like a badger, but it was like no mammal alive today. Most early mammals had sprawled out legs, a bit like those of today's crocodiles. Adelotherium wee's back legs were sprawled out too, but its front legs were aligned on its body, like a cat's or a dog's. This alignment is so unheard of that the researchers studying Adelotherium wee have no idea how the creature would have moved. It had strong back muscles that indicate that its back probably wingled side to side as it walked said study co-researcher Simon Hoffman, an anatomist at the New York Institute of Technology. Adelotherium wee's teeth were similarly confounding, said Cruz, who compared them to something from outer space. Their bumps and ridges match no known teeth patterns in any extinct or living mammals. The animal had prominent incisors, something like a rodent, but the incisors are strange with enamel only on the cheek side. Still, Crows said the teeth suggest the animal was likely an herbivore that used its incisors for gnawing. No living descendants of Adelotherium wee survive today. In fact, none of today's mammals on Madagascar are related to the Cretaceous mammals found so far on the island, Crows said. This suggests that all of Madagascar's mammals died off in the end Cretaceous asteroid impact that also destroyed the non avian dinosaurs. Today's Madagascar mammals probably descended from animals that later floated on giant rafts of vegetation from coastal Africa, but the discovery of Adelotherium suggests that even when the dinosaurs roamed, islands led to weird evolution. Scientists have long known that species isolated on islands tend to evolve in strange ways. Islands might spawn giants like the fearsome Komodo dragon, for example, or miniature like the now extinct pygmy mammoth that once roamed Crete. The Cretaceous weirdos of Madagascar suggest something similar was going on. Adelotherium wee, for example, weighed around 6.8 pounds, 3.1 kilograms, 100 times heavier than the mouse-sized mammals that make up most of the earliest mammals on Earth. Researchers are still working to understand Adelotherium wee's manner of movement and weird adaptations. They also have plenty more fossils from Madagascar to work through. Since 1993, the team has excavated more than 20,000 fossil specimens from the region. Highlighting the rarity of a find like Adelotherium wee, only 12 of those are mammal specimens. <laughs>